Yo, what up, ball fan? What is good? RWH boy Jordan Trask back for another video here. Um, Chargers beat the Cardinals 25 24. Shout out to all my fellow ball fan, Mo Dog, Julius Matia, Anthony Matia, and Sonny Matia, and LA Original and Oceanside Boy 760. Um, what a way to win for the Chargers as we beat the Cardinals. Um, we're now seven to five now after we go on and beat Arizona 25 to 24 in Arizona. So, Justin Herbert's game when he played to Jarrell Everett was a great one for Brandon Staley to put the Chargers win over the Cardinals. So, next week we got the Raiders upcoming. I do know a lot of Raider fans, including um, Raneem Kassar and Ash Raider and Raider Ben, Raider Cousin, um, obviously, and Raider Man 27. Um, so, yeah, I do know a lot of these Raider fans from me and my fellow Charger fans out there. So, so the Chargers were taking um, a tying game at uh, 17 against the field goal against the Cardinals so we did possibly go on because we did put the Charger territory in the touchdown with a win over the Cardinals so so that means next week we got the Raiders family trust respect let's go Chargers ball family's ride and you know what it's gonna be that quick because we know we saw Ravens lose to the Jaguars, obviously. And, yeah, of course. So, it was a good one for Justin Herbert. He played very great with Austin Eckler. Keenan Allen did good. So, yeah, Keenan Allen played good with a touchdown. So, yeah, we won without our guy, Mike Williams. So, that means we win for Bosa, J.C. Jackson, and Rashawn Slater, of course. Yeah. So, that means we don't explain about penalties, but we explain about the Charger win over the Cardinals against Kyler Murray. That's, that's because Derwin James took an interception against Kyler Murray because... Derwin James picked off Kyler Murray with the interception against DeAndre Hopkins and then Marquise Goodwin. Chargers defense played good, but um, for Khalil Mack, played very good with Derwin James and Kyle Van Noy, and um, we won without Nasir Adderley too, of course, yeah. And for the Chargers um, winning with Josh Kelly, we got rid of, um, yeah, because we got rid of Jeremiah Tacho and then Larry Roundtree, we waived him. So that means we just got rid of him. So what I mean about that for the Chargers is beating the Cardinals is this is what we want. But, yeah, we beat the Cardinals. So, yeah, great win for the Chargers as we beat Arizona. So that means good for the Chargers defense on the final play. So that means it's over now. So that means we're going to play the Raiders next week until we get the season series sweep done. And then next three weeks, especially um, I'm headed to L.A. to watch the Chargers play the Titans when I'm going for my early birthday. And, yeah. And then Chargers play the Dolphins and the Titans at home at SoFi Stadium, of course. And, yeah. So, we'll pull up any top until we go 11-6 until it's it for the Chargers to win it all to get to the playoffs or or why not not make it to the playoffs. So, it's ride or die for the Chargers for sure. But next year, if we get Sean Payne, then Brand Stanley is gone. But, of course. So, yeah. We pull up together for the Charger territory when we win this football game against everybody. So, yeah pulling it together because Khalil Mack's going to do it again next week against the Raiders because Khalil Mack wants second revenge against the former team against Derek Carr. So what I mean about that for the Chargers is just putting up a victory with a win over the Cardinals because we beat Kyler Murray and we beat J.J. Watt. So yeah, Sebastian Joseph Day played good, of course. Michael Davis and Asante Samuel Jr., Cameron Decker, and uh, J.K. Scott. So, yeah, putting up together with... Um, so, we lost without Sony Michelle. We win for Sony Michelle, too, of course. Yeah, for Sony Michelle. So, we put up a win into a, in an economic W with a win for the Chargers with an ecosystem to beat the Cardinals. And, of course, yeah. And that means we beat the Cardinals right now at the end of the day, like we did in 2018 with Phillip Rivers. And, of course, with Phillip Rivers against these old Cardinals quarterback that we all know was last time we beat Josh Rosen was perfectly fine. But, of course, we did beat him because Chargers beat the Cardinals in 2018 on November 25th, 45-10, to 10, with the Charger victory over Arizona because we probably did beat the Cardinals. So, yeah, just like we did in 2010 in San Diego at Qualcomm Stadium when we beat the Cardinals, when we used to have Vincent Jackson and we used to have... Patrick Creighton, and then Antonio Gates, Ladini Tomlinson, of course. So, yeah, what a way to win for the Chargers as we beat the Cardinals. So, I'm probably going to wrap this up. So, 
I'll catch you all later. It's your boy, George Trask. Peace and go Chargers. We beat AZ.